How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. From a creepy video of a screaming dysmorphic face to a weird robot that sings a very unsettling tune. Today we're looking at the creepiest videos ever found on the internet. But just quickly before we get into it, hit that subscribe button for more interesting creepy content just like this. The true origin of BlankRoomSoup.avi has been a topic of hot debate for many years. It first surfaced online sometime around 2005, and it was thought to have originated on the dark web. Some speculated that it might have been a torture video, while others suggested it was probably just a very strange performance piece. <laughs> In 2015, YouTuber Rainbot decided to dive deeper into the mystery of Blank Room Soup and made some rather unsettling discoveries. She managed to track the video to an old Daily Motion account under the name of Ray Ray TV. The account featured several videos of the same characters performing in various situations, yet none of the clips seemed to have the same sinister overtone. The Blank Room Soup video was also there, but it was accompanied by a strange caption that read, a clip of people who look like us doing something to someone that we would never do, we promise. After some further digging, Rainbot also discovered that the characters, who were known as Ray Ray, had been created by a man named Raymond Percy, a successful animator who had since worked on several popular television shows and films, including The Simpsons, Frozen and Wreck-It Ralph. In an effort to finally get to the bottom of the Blank Room Soup mystery, she decided to email Percy. He responded, telling her that he originally created the characters as a way of dealing with his feelings of loneliness and isolation that he was experiencing at the time. The Ray Ray characters enjoyed success and went on to tour across the US and even performed internationally. However, one night during a performance in LA, several of the costumes were stolen. A few weeks later, Percy received an email that included an attachment. It was the Blank Room Soup video. The strangest part was that the characters seen in the clip moved and acted exactly like they were supposed to. They all had the right mannerisms, something that took trained actors weeks to perfect. So who was playing the characters in the film? Were they past members of the original show, or had they been watching and studying the characters' moves in secret? To this day, nobody knows. Who Wants to Gnaw on Human Bones is a short video that was uploaded to Treat for Beast's YouTube channel in September 2009. It starts by showing a close-up of a bizarre figure with a painted face. All the while, an unsettling tune repeats over and over in the background. It sounds like a distorted voice saying the words, Who Wants to Gnaw on Human Bones? <laughs> The video then cuts to the figure dancing and running through the wilderness. Their costume appears to be little more than a pink sheet with an upside down bucket for a head. While this video doesn't have a creepy backstory like many of the others do on this list, it's the deadpan expression on the character's face coupled with the joyful way it moves that evokes a heightened sense of uneasiness from the viewer. It's almost as if the figure itself is reveling in the thought of actually gnawing on human bones as it plays and dances in the field. First appearing online around 2007, The Hand Thing is a video that feels like something out of a feverish nightmare. It starts as a strange figure approaches the front door to a house and asks someone named Shay if they're still doing The Hand Thing. The footage then cuts to someone sitting on the couch, clapping their wooden hands together. The guest then begins to mimic her movements as the two clap their hands over and over again. The quick video cuts, unusual angles and fast claps create a sense of real uneasiness for the viewer, almost as though parts of the clip have been sped up. The video is the work of performance artist Eric Fournier and includes his character creation Shay St. John. Described as a model, St. John was said to have suffered a major car accident, which resulted in the loss of her arms and legs. In an effort to hide her deformities, she now wears a mask and wig as well as donning a pair of wooden hands. This unusual character appeared in several videos until Fournier's death in February 2010.
This video, published to Rob Herman's YouTube channel on the 30th of October 2006, shows a creepy dysmorphic face yelling into the camera. While the clip itself only runs for 6 seconds, it's more than enough time to leave the viewer with an apprehensive and disconcerted feeling. The head looks as though it's been created using some sort of modelling clay, while the face appears to have been superimposed over the top. The result is a very creepy clip that cannot be unseen, guaranteed to give you nightmares for many months to come. <coughs> No list of creepy internet videos would be complete without this very strange and unsettling clip. Uploaded to Creepy Blog's YouTube channel in April 2009, the video shows an android named Tara in a small living room singing the words, I feel fantastic, hey, 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 over and over again. No one is certain of the video's origins. At one point, the footage cuts to a shot of a backyard, leading some to suggest that the android might have been created by a serial killer, and this could be where he buried his victims. Some even speculated that the android herself might be dressed in the clothes of the killer's last mark. It's thought that the android sings, I feel fantastic, because that's what the murderer wanted his victims to say in their final moments. Creepier still, halfway through the song, the verse changes to Please leave, run, run, run. The video's mystery deepens with the cryptic description given alongside the clip. It mentions a sculptor named Pygmalion who became disgusted with women and so decided to use his skills to create himself a perfect companion. This gave birth to rumours that Tara's creator may have actually murdered his own wife or girlfriend and built the singing robot in her likeness. Someone eventually traced the story back to an old website named Android World, which credits a man named John Bergeson as the creator of Tara. However, he hasn't been active online for more than 10 years, leading to further speculation that Tara the Android might have become sentient, turned on her creator and murdered him. This creepy video first appeared online in 2012. It shows a man insanely laughing as a classical tune plays in the background. <laughs> While the video itself is creepy, it's the story behind it that truly makes it chilling. On the evening of February 9th, 2004, a university student named Maura Murray disappeared after crashing her car into a snowbank on Route 112 in Woodsville, New Hampshire. When a local resident stopped to help Murray, she asked him not to call the police as AAA was already on its way. The resident continued home, but despite what Murray had told him, decided to call the police anyway. The police arrived on the scene sometime later, however, they were unable to locate Murray. Inside her vehicle, they discovered makeup and jewellery, as well as driving directions to Vermont. Her debit and credit cards were gone, as too was her cell phone. Prior to her disappearance, Murray had been acting rather strangely. She had crashed her father's car, was found crying at work, and had emailed her work supervisor and university professors, telling them that she was taking a week off to deal with a non-existent family emergency. A subsequent investigation of her online history also revealed that she had searched for directions to the Berkshires in Burlington, Vermont. Due to the nature of her disappearance, Murray was initially treated as a missing person. However, in 2009, the New Hampshire Cold Case Division listed her disappearance as suspicious. Despite the police's findings, Murray's father stated that he believed his daughter was most likely abducted by some dirtbag on Route 112. The chilling thing is, this video of the sinister man laughing was posted to YouTube under the name Mr. 112 Dirtbag. It was one of a series of videos that viewers thought may have contained clues to Murray's whereabouts. Despite this, the authorities were unable to find any evidence linking the uploader with the disappearance of the university student. To this day, the case of Maura Murray remains unsolved. Before we get to that number one spot and take a look at a truly creepy hijacking of a TV broadcast, 
remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on channel notifications. That way you'll be completely up to date with all our latest content. Sometime around 2006, a video surfaced online that purported to show a television broadcast hijacking. The footage, which came to be known as the Wyoming Incident, was supposedly taken from a broadcast from a local channel that served several smaller communities in the county of Niobrara, Wyoming. The clip consists of a series of disembodied heads and faces, along with several unnerving and cryptic phrases like, You cannot hide forever and we stand at your door. Several of the Niobrara residents who saw the transmission were said to have experienced unusual physical reactions, including headaches and nausea. Some also reported experiencing intense hallucinations and even temporary memory loss. Some locals thought the broadcast came from a supernatural origin. However, it was analysed by scientists who theorised that the symptoms may have been caused by the auditory frequency embedded in the video. It's believed that the frequency range, which is between 17 and 19 hertz, may have caused the eyes of the viewer to subtly vibrate, inducing hallucinations. To this day, the Wyoming incident remains a mystery, and all attempts to identify the hacker have been unsuccessful. If you want to watch some more creepy videos we've found around the internet, then check out that video on the top there, or there's an entire creepy playlist there for you to binge on. Leave us a comment down below as well, letting us know which one of these videos you thought was the weirdest. And that's it for me, I'll see you all next time. 